Yes, people. We are live, blood. We are back again. You understand? Another day, another stream, blood. You get me? This one, I've been waiting on. You understand? We got everybody in the chat. Make sure you like the thing. Make sure you share the thing. And make sure you subscribe to the blood clot thing. You understand? As you can see, I got my brother Monts with me. You know what I'm saying? My fellow title race companion you get me no diddy you understand that's the new one people no diddy you know the vibe you get me <laughs> and obviously we have uh a new member to the troops tv team um long overdue blood you get me i've been watching him for a for a minute no diddy you understand um doing great things on his own channel now <laughs> yeah you're, you're gonna hear a lot of that lb blood yeah hey, what, what, channel, what, man, like LB. a minute we've been live for a minute and the guy said it twice already yo big up Big up to months, big up to truth, big up to the uh, to the chat, man. Hopefully, I have a good show today, yeah, because this is this is it. This is make or break weekend, man. So I'm looking forward to it. But um, yeah, no Diddy, man. <laughs> I swear man. down, blood. He got bagged. You get me? I told everyone, blood. No Diddy, blood. You get me? The merch soon land. No Diddy merch. Brand risk FC. You understand? It's it's in the it's in the pipeline. No Diddy again. You understand? Because pipes and thing there. You get me? That's a bit sus, Managa lie, but. Title race talk, you get me. Um, oh, only yeah. I'm on, there's only one place to start in it, you understand, and, that, and that's with Man City, you get me. Um, city, little city, you get me. Uh, sh shout out tape, blood. Uh, that was funny, but yeah. I can't lie, that was one of my funniest videos, blood. <laughs> little <laughs> city, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> days, bro. Generation, you know, when he says that, he's like, so yeah, like the master plan. The, well, then, bro, started crying when we absolutely dunked on the hard tops about three times in a row, bro. So it's like, you know what's crazy, though? That still triggers me. Even though he started crying about it, like, he still triggers me when he says that. So that, that clip that clip gets to me still. He, even though even though he started crying a few years later. So, That's right. still sad. He's, 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 he's a quality guy, though. But yeah, yeah. Is, he's dead serious as well, you know? Like, he's not sitting here trying to be funny. Like, he's being dead serious. That's what makes it... Like, no, nah, nah, he's. I think he's a legit guy, man. He's just a funny guy, yeah. isn't it? You know what I mean? He's just a funny, funny guy. Man. But when he said that, he did trigger me and a lot of other city fans. But then, like when he started crying, you know, you know what, you know what else triggered me? Yeah? Sorry, going off topic. Here. You know what else triggered me? You know when Trent did that to the city fans? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, bro, I was, I was so Rattled. fucking yeah, bro. I was vexed. <laughs> and then next, the week after, he scored against someone else and done it to another crowd. And then I was like, oh, chilling. It's not just doing it to us, then he's doing it to everyone. He shouldn't have done that because it de rattled me when, when he when he when he shushed. He, who did he score after the city game? He scored like a week or two uh, later. Yeah, and he was like uh, licking his lips. Was, he was like, wasn't it, wasn't it the Fulham game when he scored the yeah. first was, game? It, was it Fulham? Yeah. And then he, he yeah. shushed the Fulham crowd as well. And then I was like, oh no, it's chilling. Yeah. Actually. Then he and then they were giving him crap, and he went and scored the winner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Heavy, yeah, he he that that was yeah he triggered me there. Other than that, I think I'm, I'm. I don't think I've been triggered other than them two things. Gareth Southgate playing John Stones. Oh fuck you. yeah, no, man! Actually, yeah. How is this guy still England manager, bro? It's actually mad, isn't it? It's mad. Why did he not start? Does anyone not understand? I asked this question this morning on my stream. Why did he not start Bramthwaite, man? The guy's just come through the academy of the of Everton, yeah. He's basically the next John Stones, is what everyone keeps on saying. John Stones is made of biscuits. He just played ninety minutes against. Uh, against Brazil. Why yeah. start him again? Oh man, honestly, I can't deal with this manager. Me, how he is the manager of England is mad. And I tell you what, yeah, if he goes to United, yo, that club is finished, like fully finished. I might have I'm to do praying it happens. Stream, blood. I'm doing a 24 hour stream if he yeah. goes there because that'll 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 pop off. Ridiculous, man. Guys are choking. But like, what's what is the situation with John Stones? Because Carl Walker went off in the first game. Yeah, that's dead. No, nah, I think Walker's fine. But Walker's think, cool, isn't it? I think so. They're saying he's 50-50, which is, yeah, I think he'll be all right. But, if, if, it's a, if it's a hamstring, he's not playing, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like he's not playing. Like, to be honest, though, does, a lot of City it, fans don't want him to play anyway. Don't they? No, no. no yeah, they I, I think if you, want him for the rest of the, if you want him for the rest of the season, because I understand that Kanji can go right back in. I understand what you can do with your back line and that. But Kyle Walker, yeah, there's just certain instances in the game where City should be conceding two, three goals, but you have Kyle Walker. So it don't, it don't matter, yeah, innit? You know just... Yeah, yeah. So it just don't matter. I can't tell you how many times I see it. Because I watch almost every City game, bro. And I see it every game. That's why 
I, I'm never one to say he's this. He reads the game like a defensive god because he don't. But that with pace like that, you, you, it's just sometimes you know people just write off the left side of the pitch. He just write off. Oh, we're going down the right today. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I feel like he's not playing in it. And hamstring injuries is worse for players. They're who techie, are, bro. Yeah, and yeah, you like, use their pace, like. Yeah, bro. Like I suffer from ham- hamstring injuries, and if you're fast and you're and you're one of your strengths is we say you're rapid months. I'm far. I'm, I'm bro. I'm Jamaica, stop doing this, man. Stop doing this, bro. Come on. Blood, I'm Jamaican. Bro. I can only run when I'm getting chased, blood. No. <laughs> then I'm on ten toes, bro. You understand? Like man, it catching me, blood. Trust me. Bro, I'm rapid, bro. I'm rapid, bro. So it's that's like, when I'm rapid, bro. Like I popped my hamstring. I'm talking grade two slash grade three. Hi. Yeah, like it's on that's YouTube. like a six weeker, no? It's on. It's like three or four months, maybe more. It's on oh, YouTube. Shit. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube football, but we won't disclose. We don't disclose as we the kind of people seeing that. So yeah, like and i me, I've never been the same since. I'm not saying that's what happened to Carl Walker. Carl Walker's just a precaution, but I'm saying for someone who sprints 24-7, for him to go straight back into one of the biggest games of the season, probably gonna have to deal with Martin Ellie, who is gonna push the ball and run. Let's not act like he isn't, he's gonna push the ball and run, and that's just dead for him going forward, because st- there's still 10 Premier League games left, and you've got the Champions League campaign, he's going to have to deal with Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, even though it's the biggest game of the season, he can't play, bro. You can't. Just, it's just going to mess him up. He can't play. And that's me talking from a, like, not even on a rival's perspective, like, dead ass, he can't play, bro. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not really the arse who plays, to be honest with you, because, um, you know, I can just chill in. A lot of City fans would rather a Kanji play anyway because he's better on the ball. Um, and and, and Walk, uh, yeah, very Walk good. has not even been that that great this year, to be honest with you. Um, the, well, what's going to be interesting there, though, yeah, if he does play a Kanji right back, that means Gavardio is going to be playing centre back, which he's not done this year, or he's going to be playing left left back against Saka. And I'd rather have Ake up against Saka because Ake usually does well up against Saka. Yeah, he lo- he's locked him a few times. I can't yeah, he, he has. But um, that's the only disappointing thing. But other than that, man, like. Listen, I'm pretty chill. It's gonna be an interesting game, man. Because I think, I think both teams got to win. I think, I think whoever loses, who do you think, who, who do you think has to win more? I mean, I know City, you're, City. Tr- yeah, City. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if City lose this game, I, I just don't see how we, how we win the league, man. Because we're four points behind with a worse goal advantage in it, mm. with nine games left, and we play Villa in the next one. You guys play Luton. Nah, Where do you I play just... Villa? Is it at Villa Park? Is that City? But, but 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 yeah 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 but, but you, people keep on doing this though troops yeah people keep on going oh no don't worry about that we'll win this and it doesn't happen we've only won two games against the top teams this year both against United we've not won a single game against anyone else so see what see what keeps happening in here people keep on going oh don't worry if you don't beat Arsenal then you'll beat Villa it's like well hang on a minute if you don't beat Arsenal why are people getting their chest out saying oh that you'll beat you'll beat Villa we ain't beating anyone this year in the Premier League other than United so. I'm saying that we got to win this game, to be honest with you. We've got a good record against you, but if we lose, obviously yeah, you can't just you can't you can't yeah, you can't just give up, but I would start focusing on back to back. What Champions Leagues? Focus on the back to back, isn't it? Go no, back to back to back treble's still dead. It's still dead. Yeah, that's that's that's, no. that's, the, that's the crazy thing. The treble's still possible. Yeah, the, the treble's still possible, but if we lose, yeah, I just don't see how we I, I think I think it do you think if you power. lose to us, do you lose the semi final against United? Me, the semi final Madrid. 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 Madrid or Chelsea. Chelsea. Nah, who, who, who have you got in the FA Cup semi final again? Chelsea. Oh. Yeah, Ch- yeah, Chelsea. Sorry. Nah, we'll turn up there because a lot of people are saying that they think that it's going to be Chelsea or um, United that win the FA Cup. I yeah, think you know what that is. I think City. Yeah. Do you know I, what that is? I, I still think City will win the league. It's mad. Like, I, I just have PTSD of being an Arsenal fan for a long period of time where it's not even that we bottled the league last year. I've seen us bottle leagues in the 90s, bro. Do you understand? I've seen us be 18 points clear and get run down by United, bro. Do you understand? I've seen us lose the league on the last day of the season and United win the treble. You get me? I've I've seen I've seen this, bro. So, for me, it's, it's PTSD. We haven't gone to City on one for a long, long time, bro. You get me? Mm. That 2-0 Sati Kazula masterclass back in 2015. That's the last time we really went up there and did anything, blood. You get me? I think last time was the first... Yeah, I think last year was the first time we scored in about, what, 
seven, eight games at, at, at Yeti Yad? Yeah, you don't like, usually you don't have to score there. Like our, our record there is very it's very techy, you get me? I think the first goal is vital, blood. Because I think if we go ahead, then yeah. I think the confidence will just I think the Arsenal away end will get raucous. The songs will start throwing out, and then I think the players will get confidence, and I think we'll go for the jugular. Because one thing I've seen with City is when you go for them, when you go go all gun like you catch like them on the break, like bro. Yeah, even more, more, more so what United did. The way United were cutting them open, blood, and we got pace on that break, blood. You understand? We got, and you got Odegaard flying up there as well, blood. You get me? You got Havertz who's in the form of his life. You understand? Flawless. I'm not drinking the Kool Aid. Yeah, I'm looking at the Kool Aid. The Kool Aid looks nice, blood. You understand? I just put some two ice cubes in it. You get me? I've got a straw. I'm just stirring it right now. You understand? But I've not picked up the Kool Aid, blood. You see me? But I think a lot <clears throat> is is determined on that first goal, and I think a lot is on if John Stones is available, because if what if because if Barbie Dale goes at centre back, you're fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Well, Havertz will, will terrorise him, blood. Then you got Jesus as well coming off the bench. He's fit. He's been in training. Partey, hopefully Martinelli's cut on his foot is healed up. Trossard had a good game midweek. It's, you know what I'm saying? I'm a I don't hopeful. know, man. Like, I'm not too hopeful. Like to, yeah, people like to talk on City, yeah. But ultimately, we've only lost, what, three games this season in the league, yeah? All three of them were deflected goals. That's my copium. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> and that, that for real, man. For real, um, you know, people like to talk on Chelsea. You, you, you obviously, people say, Oh, Chelsea will beat us. You didn't see the Chelsea fans coming out with their chest, by the way. Yeah, about City say You've not beat us this season. Mm. You do realize they've not beaten us either this season, but these Chelsea fans getting their chest out mad, it's crazy. So, listen, <laughs> we're not playing great. I say, out of Liverpool, Arsenal, and City in the league, City have played the worst out of all three. Yeah, yet we're a point behind. That's right, why I'm so, scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. However, what I would say also to balance that is you've got to change. You can't keep playing. Like, if we play how we play against Liverpool in the second half at Anfield against Arsenal, yeah, that's going to be crazy. But we just got to, we got to perform, man. We've got pretty much a, um, a, fit, a fit squad by maybe a player or two. But even those players, you know, you can't... Uh, someone said something on the chat this morning, which is good. Like, if you're relying on John Stones... To win your trophies, then you probably ain't going to win trophies because he's he's not fit enough. You know, what I mean, it's sad really because he's absolutely he's a mint football player, but he's not he's not he's not fit enough. So there's got to be no excuses for me. The only thing that I'm a bit frustrated about is like early on in the season, Pep did have a couple games where he could he could have thrown in Gavardi at centre half just to try him out, and he never did. He just kept on playing him left back. So if he does have to play centre half, he's going to be thrown in there basically for the first time against. against top of the table Arsenal so that's a bit of a madness but I always find that I don't know about you guys yeah I always find that these games don't always come down to necessarily the quality or even necessarily the tactics it's about like who can handle the big pressure and, and the who perfect takes the chance handle. yeah and, and the chances as well like last year like Arsenal come to the Etihad and they just bottled didn't handle it. the pressure they bottled it yeah and we just like we just tore them apart I'm hoping the 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 you know City will uh you we know, did have Rob. We did have Rob Wallad holding. So we never had Saliba. Gabriel's in the form of his life as well. He's yeah. Probably, well, for me, Gabriel should be in the in, in the team of the season. It should be Van Dijk and him, in my opinion. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. No, I said, I said this. Like, I've said I this for some time, I man. I said that I think Gabriel's been better than Saliba this year. Mm -hmm. But you know what it is like. A lot of the PR merchants that you've got on Twitter just like to push players because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. they want to get their stocks really high. It's mm -hmm. like they're invested. Like, you know, on the stock market. Yeah. Like, if they're super... <laughs> Facts, blood. Man, it's trade excellent. <laughs> like, okay, on, on a Forex trade. Forex trade like, yeah, yeah on, a, on, a, on, a, on a Forex. But, like, bro, bro was just speaking to his mate at college and he's like, hey, how come you keep on propping up Saliba instead of Gabriel? He's the real one. He's like, bro, in three years' time, I'm cashing out and I, I'm moving to Dubai or something like this. It's like, now nah, relax, man. I don't know what's going on here. So, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, Gabriel's been better than Saliba. For, for, for sure. And I've watched like, like that month. So I've pretty much watched every single Arsenal game this year on the watch alongs and that. And yeah, yeah Gabriel's been solid, man. Mm. Yeah, I see you doing our watch alongs. I need to start doing watch alongs, man. I need to start doing Yeah, Monts is shook, blood. 
Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what it is? I'm a madman when I watch football. No one knows this because no one sees me do watching them. And I just gotta keep my channel monetized, man. The man. Bro, you know. What it, remember, I'm mad as well. You know. Remember, I'm a yardie oh, like you. So there's oh, certain times I, I want to be like you, fucking boop, yeah. but I'll just reel it like, and I'll be like you, wanna. Oh, it's sweet when you're doing that. Old. You know, like in the uh, against um, Porter when you're doing the calm down, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another leg to play, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that type of thing, blood. Where I'm like, yo, I need to calm myself down, blood. You do, understand? Do you know when my last watch along was. Blood, weren't yeah, it yeah, flipping? This is yeah, yeah. on on that's on um, on copish. That's what that's what happens when I have to watch along. Yeah, you yeah, need to run it more, blood. You need to do one on Sunday and 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 pray for City to win, and then it'll oh, backfire man. on your club, blood. You understand? You'll be like, this is the Etihad. Next thing, Havertz just cops up, boy. You know what I'm saying? Back stick, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know what but, it is? Because the reason I probably should do watch alongs and even like what hate alongs or hate like the rival watch alongs because when Rashford bagged that banger against City, I actually stood up like a proud uncle. I stood up like you know, you know when um, you know when uh Stone scored against us. I'm pretty sure City fans were like, let's go. Let's. That's, mm. That was with Rashford. I was like, wait, this guy actually done something this season. But yeah, man, I don't know, man. We'll soon come, soon come. But what's your yes. what's your thoughts on um the game on Sunday? Um, do you know what? I'm always it's always belts to us, no diddy, when it comes to City and Arsenal in it. I don't even usually I don't even bat an eyelid. And I always look at it in a sense where if I fear City, like at the Yeti had, then Arsenal fans have to dub, double triple up on that, double up on that, double homicide. That's that's what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, what the difference this season's different, simply because so many results have gone against like the grain of football you know when they come up with the stats no team has ever done this for the last mm -hmm. 10 years and da, 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 da. yeah that's been broken too many times this year too many times you know what i'm saying i've seen teams i've seen too many teams this year cause city problems that you wouldn't usually see at a high rate now that's not because i'm holding city to perfection i just have them at a certain standard and city can city can see chances anyway they usually do i think people forget that city do can see chances in games they're not gods but I feel like it's happening at a higher rate. And Arsenal have done themselves a massive favour by dismantling the teams at the way they have, apart from the Champions League, maybe, since, since you'd say, just before the... Just since, I'd say since the Liverpool game. Since the Liverpool game. Yeah, since um, Dubai. They, 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 yeah, they dismantled... In since January, they dismantled us and started moving mad and just steamrolling everyone. Arsenal have slowly built a fear factor that... I feel like City players are now wary of. I feel like last year, City fans, City, not even City fans and the players, looked at Arsenal and kind of went, yeah, cool, you man are dead there, but like, are you man really here to stay mm. now? You man mm. really here to stay? Let's keep yeah, it. Yeah, because everyone thought we'd fall off this year. Yeah, you know And a lot saying? of people said we were only good last year because Liverpool were shit, but guess what? We're back again. Back on no, blood yeah. clock again. You bro, understand? Bro, like KDB pushed your manager, bro. If that ain't if that ain't a, <laughs> that ain't a disrespect, bro, I don't know what's that a disrespect. True, that's man. that's what man really thought of. If that's I was that in that part, team, man. yeah. Let me tell you something, blood. That Ed Sheeran looking little punk would have got a hey, Zizu settings, bro, in our chest, boy. No, did he? So, um, so this is, but this is what I'm saying, huh? This that's the Man City outlook. I feel like they've had on you lot. Now I feel like those City have got a few man missing. I just feel like they've got to be a bit wary, and that was very evident at the at, uh, at the Emirates. City weren't going for it. First 20 minutes, you look the city went for it because Raya was looking mad shaky. I remember Raya was looking mad shaky. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then when Arsenal kind of got into the game, it was like a you man were like this. How was that? I, I still think a draw was probably the deserved result in that game. Do you know what I'm saying? It was a good tactical change, but that for the first time in ages, I think City actually looked at you, man, like they're your equals. And there were little signs at the Emirates when Rodri scored the last minute goal and Martin Eddie got sent off. You man battered them in the first half of the Emirates, battered them in the first half of that game. So there were signs that there were cap capabilities of you man well, going Martin up. Martin it was uh, Gabriel. Was it Gabriel? Who, yeah. who got it was, it was, it was Ga it was Gabriel Magalhães on Gabriel Jesus. You imagine that? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jesus cool. getting sent yeah. off, lad. Now he's sitting on my yeah, bench, yeah. lad. No, did he? Oh, me. So, so this is this is why I think now. I think it's I think it's naive for anyone to just think that it's going to be same old settings, belts to us, Arsenal going to get set back in, and that's their title hopes pretty much in the mud. Not make so much done, but in the mud. I generally think this game is a, almost a bang on 50-50. I still think City are the favourites because treble winners and it's at home and the record suits them. But 
like like LB said, it would be an idiot to just be like, yeah, cool, this game is a one way one way traffic, man. I, I generally feel like Arsenal. I'm at, me personally, I'm actually leaning towards Arsenal winning the game. I can't ignore the form. I can't ignore the. Fit yeah, but we're in decent like, form, bro. Bro, yeah, yeah, the games since yeah, the beginning yeah, of yeah, December. But your, but your, yeah. your four, your twenty-two form unbeaten like, game. Yeah, yeah, twenty-two like, game but I'm, unbeaten. I'm watching, yeah, but your form. Nineteen on paper. wins and three draws. But you know what it is? Uh, City's forms on paper. Arsenal's forms in my eyes, bro. Like, yeah, but it's the same shit, though, isn't it? You know what you say? City have the better team on paper, but by your eyes, the Arsenal team looks better. Yeah, like, like don't get me wrong. I, you'd find City are better on paper. Do you have the better players and the heritage and the experience? No, no, about heritage. Heritage. Oh, oh slow your blood clot there, Listen, blow listen, your listen. Blood listen. Clot. You know, there's a, a, a there's a thing called a blue card now heritage. in the Premier League, yeah, and and there is the first blue card of the stream. Bro. Hey, bring it back, man. No, no, no. How dare you? How dare? One thing we will not say <laughs> that City have more than Arsenal is heritage, blood. Yeah, so. Yeah, slow your blood clot like Ludacris told Bobby V on Melrose. Yeah? Hello, Mons. Meant recent heritage. Recent heritage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get get the word incorrect really, in the dog. If, if you want me to really go with their Premier League era heritage, then let's say that. because What about European heritage, Mons? You're going to have been in for that? You're going to be in for that? You're going to be in for that? You're going to be in for that? I'm just asking the question. I'm just asking the question. Thank you. Same energy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank same you. energy, same you know energy. I'll you. be fair, blood. Yeah, yeah, I got to say, it's not be fair. But technically, they actually, but technically, they fucking probably. We've got two European trophies, but we don't have the champs, and we don't have a Europa or UEFA. Yeah, we have a yeah. So one of them don't exist anymore. I don't give a shit. We still got that, blood. Football cup and super cup, man. Hmm. See. What? Yeah, but we've also got the club club, 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 club. Cup, club, uh, cup, mm. cup man. Yeah, but so we also got the cup winners cup as well, which is what Arsenal won, isn't it? Yeah, that's what yeah. we won in '94, and then we lost yeah. the final '95. I think we won it in the '70s as well. Right? Winners cup, that foil team here, here it's not. Yeah, yeah, we right. won the. I think we won the UEFA first cup in the '70s. And, uh, fair enough. No, no, but just back to the game though. I can't ignore certain <laughs> man's for a minute. I think the only one I do worry about man. is maybe. I think Saka tends to burn out at this part of the season, and we, me and Chiefs was talking like literally what the other day. Saying mm -hmm. that this is the time where I feel like it can't be, oh, yeah, Saka's tired, he's going to burn out. He has to push through this or Arteta needs to manage. And Because there's certain games, let's be honest, actually certain games Saka actually don't need to play. But he's going to play. We know we know he's going to play in it, unfortunately. But there's certain games he don't need to play. And I think this, this game in particular is so... I can't tell you the jitters... The jitters, and I'm just glad I'm not a part of it. I'm glad I'm watching this as a neutral. You know, I'm watching this yeah, but you just need to make sure you handle your own business, months. Yeah, because if yeah, you we'll don't handle your own business, we'll we'll get to that. Because again, don't draw this game. I beg you, not don't draw this game. One of you go win it. Don't draw this game. And I'm I will trying be to win it, blood. I will because if I'm back on if I'm back on the top of the Premier League after this ordeal, then all that meltdown about Luis Diaz not finishing this dinner for no reason, wasn't it? What I've so, said, yeah, is that if we win at City, we win the league. That's when I'll start talking with Chess. That's when I'm. That's when I'm outside, bro. That's when. Okay, I'm. I, I've the copium, the Kool Aid, bro. Yeah, to the head. No, did he? You understand? That's one thing I'll say because I I, I saw Murtasaka last week. I took trade to do his one to one session, and Murtasaka's son trains there as well, in it. And then I was talking to Per for about ten minutes, and he was saying to me that like, he asked me like, "Yo, what do you think this year?" And I said, I think if we go to City and win, we win the league. I think the I think the momentum we've already got in the league will go to another level, blood. It will go to a title, a title winning run, blood. You get me? Where you need that, like you need like that that 15, 16 game win in a row, blood. I think we could go on to that 10, 11, get me 12, 13 game run, blood. And he 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 agreed as well. He said that, yo, I, I think that as well. I think if we if we go to City and win. It's ours, blood. And that's when I'll talk with chess, blood. You get me? But will we win? It's it's all it's all about the players and, and have they got the mentality, blood. You understand? Like City's not like a it's it's not um it's not a scary atmosphere. You get me? The only time I see I see it mad was the Real Madrid game. I was like, oh shit, these men can actually yo get it cracking. You get me? But I haven't really seen it like that for, for like a league game, blood. I think it, I think because that was the Champions League, the set it was like, yo, this is the year we're gonna do it. 
I ain't really seen that in in the Prem. Like when you go Anfield, it's got that. The first 10 minutes, you have to ride that storm, blood. You have to, blood. At City, it's more the players. You get me? It's more the team that are scary, blood. It's not the environment. You understand? So in that tunnel, these men need to... The way that they keep showing these fucking... These clips of the players looking across and they're all looking like giants. That's that's what that's what we need. When they look across and they see Rodri, they see KDB, they see Harlan, they see yeah. all of these gunmen. They need to look at them like, yo, we, we, yo, you, we're on, we're coming to, yo, we're badding you up on your block today, blood. Yeah? The way you man used to run rings around us at Emirates, blood, all them three nils. You hear me? I remember that three nil, the two three nils in the space of four days, blood. Yeah, I was at both of them games, blood. Yeah, the free no in the Carabao Cup final, and then the free no at the Emirates, blood. We were free no down after like 30 something minutes, blood. You understand? Arteta needs to be showing players all of this shit, bro. You get me? Like Murtasaka as well. Because he's at the club, he needs to go into that chain. He needs to be on that training ground this week and be like, yo, I've gone there and won, you know. I know what it takes to you understand. Because we need all. We need blood. I'm telling you, if if it's that fucking Etihad, blood. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but oh, you're fucking hate that, it, blood. You're saying this now, but on Saturday, you are, you're, you're going to be watching Sunday. the game like this. You're going to be, sorry, Sunday, you're going to be watching the game like this. I know you are. Of course I am. That's, you're going to be doing it. all that. I know you're going to be dropping bricks before, like, before kickoff. Because you know what it is? Unfortunately, City do still have that aura where, especially when there's always a part of the game where them man start moving the ball around your box and you see Foden do you see him Foden do this you know what I'm saying you're seeing Harlan just doing it just doing this in the box trying to trying to chick the defender the other way and, and KDB just he's doing that one I'm just like I don't know how long if they really get a hold of the game that's when I'll say boy I don't know if you lot are getting out of life so for me if you lot keep that game in the midfield if you keep the game in the middle of the park rather than letting being in your own half I think you've got just as much of a chance to win than, 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 than Man City, in my opinion. I think it's going to be a real close game, man. I, I think it's going to be a close game. And it's going to come down to the moments, isn't it? It's going to come down to the moments. And, you know, City haven't really taken our moments when we've played the better teams this year. And we need to take the moments. And it's basically a cup final. Because I think I think whoever loses is, is you know, pretty much done. Pretty much done. Like, yeah, OK, there's a 5% chance, 10%. But if we're being real, yeah. You know, unless unless Liverpool do a madness against Brighton and drop points, there uh, it's it's pretty much done. So it's it's a cup final, and you know, so the, the thing is, that I, I'm looking at this thinking: Kevin De Bruyne's playing, Foden's playing. Surely we're creating chances, yeah. Not even though I know troops will be like, yeah, but we're defending Mint. Yeah, yeah I get that. But if you're telling me Foden, De Bruyne, Rodri's playing, we're going to create a few chances at mm -hmm, least. Mm -hmm. Then it's a question mark of are we going to be clinical? Because City this year. Despite scoring still quite a lot of goals, I haven't been that clinical. Like mm. Haaland, even though he's still bagging mad amount of goals, he's missed a few chances, um, which really should be putting in the back of the net. Like we can't afford for that. He missed a penalty last night, but we cannot afford for for these missed opportunities. Mm. So if we get if we get the opportunities, which I'm sure we will, we've got to put them in the back of the net because that that's what that's what's happened to us so many times this year. Yeah, dig back to Liverpool at home. Went one nil up. Went one nil up. Yeah, didn't kill the game. Drew one one. Mm. Spurs. We went. I think we went above them twice. Drew three three. Ch same at Chelsea away. Um, same at Anfield. We scored first there in it months. Yeah, 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 We scored. We scored the first goal there. Like we literally, other than Chelsea at home, um, any any game that we've drawn against the big teams, we we've we've gone up. And we just haven't killed the game off because we're not and should, and Let's be honest, Obi, with the team we put out, you should have beaten us at Anfield, in my opinion. Yeah, of course anyway, we should have done that, man. On paper, like the fact that we even played the way you played against you took me by surprise. I was telling man them when I saw that starting lineup, I said, Park the bus, park it behind the goal line, park the bus, eleven man stand, everyone stand on the line like this, everyone stand on the line, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll win, get something out of the game. That's what I was saying. And then when I've seen these man bot triangles, I'm like. But he might all right. Yeah, I've never seen you, you know when the, I ain't seen KDB get hooked since N'Golo Kante, bro. Yeah, but he shouldn't have been hooked, bro. He's no, he should have been hooked, bro. He's no, he him. shouldn't have been because you know what you know what you're missing here, Monts. Yeah, is when you have a player like that, yeah, you don't take them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's any time in it. It's just like at any yeah. time. Like Salah against United. Why you take Salah off for United? Oh yeah, Bozo. But 
hey, let's not even don't go move. There. Let's not don't even move. go there. No, no, no. I've got to go there because you, you you went there with my player. So it's Uno Reverso, bro. Yeah, you, the, <laughs> with these type of players, yeah, who 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 come in with the goals and the assists and the big moments, even yeah. if they're dropping stinker performance, you got to just keep them on. You got to keep them on. Hundred percent groups, man. Like no, you have to. Days, that. Certain times, like, that... Oh, he's dropping a stinky. You don't just take him no, off. No, no, no. Keep no, him no. on because he's like, same with Messi, Ronaldo. You don't take these players off. That's why like, Saka stays on. Like, Saka will be stinking up the place, but we'll keep him on because we know if a chance drops, nine yeah. times out of ten, he's going to take the chance, blood. You have to keep your main guy. Like, when I saw the brain go off, I said, what's going on here, blood? Word. It was more wild than the Salah one. Because Salah played like 90 minutes the day the game before, and he just come back from I get I get you and why. But that's Klopp's fault for playing him for 90 yeah, minutes. I know, I know, I know. And this is why I say I yeah. got, but I, I kind of understood with the De Bruyne. I was like, what the fuck? Yo, Pep's doing that flipping brain freeze thing again. He was getting punched up though. He was getting punched up though. Yeah, he was and getting smoked still. Getting I'm not punched up. You know, you know a man's got you in the head looking you a noogie and that. That's 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 yeah, he was getting know. bad up. You got noogied up still. So I'm not gonna this lie. Is, this, what I would say is that KDB, yeah, I don't know what it is against Arsenal. It's like Firmino against Arsenal. Certain yeah. men just hate Drogba. Yeah, like Harry Kane. Men, they just, they just. You get, you know, you, you know, in Popeye. You know what I'm saying? This Popeye. Popeye thing, you get. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Certain men just power up against Arsenal, win it. And KDB is already a power up in himself. So to, the fact that he just double powers up. But I remember he weren't even in great form when he scored that chip. I can see <laughs> he just came on and dig the keeper. It was nuts. Like, the guy's a joke, innit? So, I think Pep's kind of... I think Pep has to be very careful because it's not just Arsenal he has to worry about. It's Madrid as well. Like Just like you, man, have Bayern to worry mm. about. There's games like, yeah, cool, this is the cup final, but you, man, have a... Like, Arsenal and City's April is fucked. It's fucked. Yeah, but, bro, you have to full send it. Yeah, you 100%. have to full send it. Yeah, so, so it's almost like there's no point in worrying about April because, like, if you lose this game, you ain't worrying too much about what's no, in no, April. Yeah, April, April don't matter. Yeah, it's, it's one game at a time. I don't know if you lot heard what um, John Stones said about the Arsenal game. I think Rice, uh, Rice reminded him that, yo, we got you on the weekend. Then he goes, do we? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. We do. Forgot. That's why it's because it's man that are really focused on this one game to get it's yeah, 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 but, but one game could also end the league. So, yeah, yeah. like, Definitely. yes, like one game at a time, but if you lose against Arsenal or Arsenal lose against City, they're probably out. So This is why this game could be a draw, because both teams don't want to lose. Like, I feel like, I generally feel like if it's 1-1 one, one and it's 85th minute, I think you lot kind of play the game in a way. I don't know if both man both managers will make the subs to go for it, but I think whoever has the balls keeping it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I think they should just full send it and just best team winning it, which probably will be my team. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> but no, nah, like you don't play for a draw, man. Because th here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. This is why Arsenal shouldn't play for the draw. And Troops was right earlier what he said. One, if Arsenal win this game, yeah, there's a lot of people who say Arsenal should win this now, win the league. I'm talking about, yeah. I probably still have Liverpool 51 percent. Over, over Arsenal slightly, yeah, just because of the experience clock factor mm -hmm. and that. But ultimately, you guys got the better goal difference. It's your, it's, it's, it's Arsenal's title to lose. If City, if, obviously, if City go for it and win it, I think even though we'll be a point behind Liverpool, I'm backing my team to go on and win the league. If we beat Arsenal on Sunday, I'm saying now nah, we're going to go and win the league. Don't worry about Villa. We'll, we'll, we'll win out. In fact, I, I could sit here and say I think we could win every game to the rest of the season if we beat Arsenal. Yeah, I would, I would have certain chests to do that. If Liverpool somehow drop points, which is unlikely, but let's just say they do, on the day, you got a bad record against Brighton as well. You know that. If, if Brighton do a match, yeah, spooky. I actually think in that case, Arsenal have to go for the win. Because if, if Liverpool drop points, yeah, and you win that game, like we could be talking about potentially another bottle job, man, because there's nine games to go. You'd be, what, two points ahead of Liverpool if they drew, three points ahead of them if, if you lost four against City with a better goal difference. Arsenal should clean up the league then. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd be disappointed if the team played for a draw. Do you, do you know what? I would, like... Do you know who I worry about? Erden Ireland. I do worry. I'm worrying about him a little bit in these some of these games because, like, he should have put the Chelsea game... 
to bed. You know what I'm saying? I think he had a chance against us as well. Like, I feel like he's not... Obviously, this is a testament to how good he is. He's not in form and he's still got, what, 19 goals? 80, 19 goals in the Prem? But in the big games of recent, he's not really stepping up. And I think players like Alvarez are getting flack for not, you know, getting you man over the line. Obviously, Foden's having to get the goals. But Foden, for me, as great as he is, as a finisher, he's not a lethal. He's not a gunman. You know what I'm saying? He's not a gunman. Haaland's supposed to be the gunman. And I genuinely, I genuinely think that since he's come back from his injury, he hasn't been very good. He hasn't been very good. There's been little sparks, maybe. But he's got a few more gears to go up. And it, that's my question to you, like, do you feel like Haaland is going to step up in more of these big moments for the rest of the season? Or do you feel like the injury is kind of, maybe it's the injury why he's kind of slowed down a bit. And well, he has I think to so. Work because, his way yeah. back so I feel like he's been playing long enough now. Well, yeah, but he's not looked fit, has he? He's not looked no. fit. And yeah, here's, he the thing with, here's the thing with Haaland, yeah. And it does mad in. He ain't Harry Kane. He ain't going to be dropping deep, playing mad balls in behind for Son. Yeah, like, or, or for, for City, it would be like, I don't know, Bernardo Silva. We don't even have those players anyway in those runs, but he doesn't do that. And then people go, oh, he needs to do that. No, 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 no. If, if he needed to do that, you should have bought Harry Kane instead of earning Haaland. Haaland is old school goal scorer. Yeah, that's what he does, old school. Like, he's, he's the most old school footballer that I can see. He don't do, like, the mad ticket tacker football, dropping deep into the hole, putting balls in behind. It's not his game, man. But then people say, oh, he needs to do that. No, 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 no. If that's what he needed to do, then you should have bought Kane. That's what you should have done. You didn't. You bought Haaland. So play to his strengths. And in far too many games this year, we've not played to his strengths, man. And well, he gets yeah, isolated. Obviously, that's because obviously Doku, he's new to the team and he's not really he's not really played to the strengths of the striker. But like in at the Emirates, Saliba flattened him, bro. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, people, people, like to, yeah no, people like to talk about that, but we didn't really... Give him any service. I don't think it was yeah, particularly yeah, yeah, but, difficult. Yeah, but, the same so, happened at Wolves. But even if, yeah, but that's the thing. That's that's the, unfor that's the backlash that you know always going to get with Harlan, whether we like it or not. If he doesn't get service, he doesn't score. But like Harlan bags 40 goals, 50 goals a season. So if he doesn't score, people are going to laugh at him regardless of the context. You know this, LB. You know, you know how the story is going to go. If you don't bag a goal, where was Harlan? Be kept in quiet, even though he needs service and he's not a Harry Kane and he can make a goal from nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the narrative. Yeah, we've just not created enough, man. You know, I think people don't don't estimate as well the loss of Grealish for the team. You know what I mean? Is I I think Grealish doesn't like he's not a match winner or anything like that. And like I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and like tell you how mint he is, but I do feel that for Haaland, he is quite important. You know, and of course we've had no Kevin De Bruyne for the first half of the season. This, this mm. is why I'm saying this game on Sunday. It's no excuses for me. Yes, I'd rather John Stones be in there. And obviously, for me, he's our best defender. But, you know, that's not going to stop us really. It shouldn't stop us really from going forward and being able to create chances. Yeah. So, you know who the real goal for is? Rodri. Yeah, he's Rodri and guy. Rodri and big games, yeah. That guy, he's, he's always, he always does veins. it, bro. The ice in his veins. Didn't he back to yesterday? Two pens. Yeah. yeah, two pens. Yeah. It's yeah, two pence to be fair, but this guy in big games, yeah, he's naughty, bro. Even even the one, even the Chelsea one. So you lot don't lose that game. Mm -hmm. Do you know how massive that is? Massive. That's put Just them in this position now. No, did he? To to strike blood. You get me? Because if bro. if they win now, they're back like Yemi. City. If 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 Arsenal win, Arsenal are favourites. If City if City win, City are favourites. Did he score? I'm not gonna lie, it? huh? Did Rodgers score in the Newcastle game? Did... No, he got the assist, didn't it? Yeah, he I got think the assist. assist. Yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one they won three two. Mm. Yeah, go. On. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think Liverpool win the league, blood. Let me just get some super chats first because that's a perfect segue, blood. Yeah. Big up right. Todd Miller, my doggy. He says, "Please, City, we can't have these fan bases pumping their chest." No, did he? Especially Arsenal. Although Liverbirds fans are so righteous. Hashtag eleventh. Obviously, Todd Miller is a Chelsea fan, still in the mud. Big up your damn self, broski. Big up Kurt Chaos, my doggy. He says, I set a reminder for the 60. <laughs> Aye, you like don't even know, do you, blood? Aye. Go watch the last episode of the pod, yeah? 
Or, or go on out, go on out of context, sarcasm city blood. Ray Ray, you'll find out what about October the 16th, blood. Um, just oh, for Ray Ray. 16 out of 10. Yes, Not blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, so we have officially said that the 16th of October is Ray Ray Day, blood. You understand? Because 16, 10. The chat is too fast, blood. You get me? But um, I'm over here being called a fake fan, being from Oz. I want to rep every overseas fan for every team. Come on, you gunners. Hey, don't rep them, man, there, yeah? We just stay on, we just stay on the gunners, blood. You get me? Big up Brian Holiday. He says, what is your opinion on the Vinny Junior La Liga situation? We don't see that happening in the Premier League as often as the La Liga, as in La Liga, I think he means, and Serie A. Um, obviously, Vinny... Um, crying his eyes out um, because of um, the racial abuse. And then you have that absolute walad, um, that Brazilian coming out and saying that, um, oh, it's, it's not racist. If I was oh, playing are. against him, yeah, yeah, he was like, yeah. He was like, oh, if I was playing against him, I would call him that as well. And I don't know, it's a bit mad, yeah. blood, isn't it? Like? It's, 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 you know, it's, it's just what's wrong with today. Simple as that. Yeah, blood, like, uh, it's just... Yeah, it's, man, it's, man still don't get it. You still don't get it? Still don't get it. You know, that's what I'd say, blood. It's 2024, and you get me, we're still dealing with the same shit, blood. But big up Vinny every time. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we face him. Well, I'd actually, I don't know, did he? I don't want to face him still. I'd rather get City if I beat by a unit, blood. Uh, big up James Bond. The Liverpool fans crying underdogs so much they have fleas and ticks. Right. I like months. Right. Okay. Big up Eddie Jr. He says City are on a 22 unge unbeaten streak, 19 wins and three draws. That's what I'm saying, blood. Like our run is good, but City's run is also good, blood. You get me? Big up Kurt Chaos one more time. He says City treated Arsenal like we were the little brothers. Now we have grown and ready to square up. I think City do look at us differently, blood. I think that all started from the community show. Even though it was just the community show, I think the way we performed in that game is the reason why they, when they came to the Emirates, that's why that's why they set up the way they set up, blood. Uh, big up Gabrielle, my dog. He says, big up you guys. Happy to see Monts on the pod. Come on, you gunners. Uh, with Stones, Edison and Walker out, how do you guys think the game will go? I think first goal is the most important. I think first goal determines it. Sad to say this, but I think Arsenal win this game. City. City will win the game. Experience will out, Gabriel. Hopefully not, blood. And finally, Mr. Hussein. He says, who's Arsenal's biggest nemesis? KDB or Drogba? It's got to be Drogba, bro. Probably Drogba. Still. It's got to be Drogba, bro. That guy is clear. The real Arsenal is Drogba, but yeah. Carry on. No, no, of course, go on. But um, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, look, you look at him. Oh, carry on, carry on. But yeah, I, I honestly don't think Liverpool win the league, but I'm not going to lie. I don't think you win the league. I look at Liverpool this season, and you remind me of us last season, where you're playing off emotion. You get me? That's how I look at this. Even though you have, like, the experienced players in there, like the Allisons, who's not there now, but you got, like, your Van Dijk there, your Trent there, your Robertson there, people that have won league titles. You get me? Salah. Um, but I just see Liverpool playing with a lot of a lot of emotion, blood. You get me? These last minute winners all the time. Like, I don't feel me. It's, 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 it's well, a lot. Like, like what you were doing at the start of the season. Nah, nah. We weren't playing off emotions. We were playing shit at the start of the season. We were not, like, Arteta had man on a lead. No diddy. You understand? And now he has let man off the lead, took the muzzle off, and we're moving mad. Yeah? And I said that to you earlier in the season that I think Arteta's holding us back. And then All he's right. gonna let us go. Yeah, but, yeah, Whereas yeah. you lot were yeah. like you crept, like like you start the season, it was a bit up and down. You get me? McAllister are trying to find his feet. When he found his feet, you lot kicked into gear. Then everyone was like, okay, cool. Salah is going. Um Afcon is where the Liverpool dip happens. It didn't happen. You get me? You still stuck with it. But for me, it was like now that like when Salah went. It was like a lot of, it was like that's when the news came out, because the news came out that when um about Klopp was just before Christmas, yeah, and that's when you lot started playing with more emotion from the second half of the season. I'm talking about, it's been more emotion. It's it's been like it's, it was like us last year, in my opinion. I disagree. 
of you would. Um, you know, actually better than Liverpool last season. You know, better last season. No, we were better, but I'm saying that we were. It was a lot of emotion that was getting us through. Yeah, like oh, everyone's what? against us. The crowd's gonna. This is, you know, like, I feel like we can't. I feel like there are certain games. But you know, it's like Klopp farewell. No, there's there's certain games where you can say, yeah, do it for Klopp. Play it. Players have him of emotion. The go go juice. How long is it gonna last? But you can't say how long is it gonna last if for game week twenty eight. Can't we can't? Of like, course you can. Of course you can say when is it gonna last, bro. Of course you can say up until uh, the like, day forty eight. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about how long. Like people are saying, like we're we're going off. We're going off adrenaline in that. It's game week twenty eight. Like it's yeah, but we went till game week thirty four with adrenaline last year. It's so what's your a, point? Bro, we're, like, I'm tired of this. We're just that good. We're just that good. Oh yeah, yeah. we're just that good. Yeah, okay. we we didn't we didn't treat we didn't treat City like the like the nephew them for no reason, bro. You, you don't you don't see City rattled like that. You don't rattle City like that. They had their first team, bro. All of the ballers are playing. You get it. Man are out here not completing 60 minutes. What? Because because you've got certain men that don't play regularly. Certain parts you can put down to emotion. I understand that. But then there's other, there's sometimes there's just good management as well. Harvey Elliott, who isn't someone who is considered a baller, he's done very well in, in large parts of the season. You know what I'm saying? Curtis Jones has grown up finally. About time. He was time was running out, but he's finally growing up. You know what I'm saying? As much as I'm on Darwin Nunes and I think he's overrated. He's been doing his thing. He's getting his numbers. He's moving effective. You know what I'm saying? We've had setback after setback after setback after setback. And we just keep winning. Of course, there's games where we've had little fall-offs. Again, the United game, um, we've lost two games season. Arsenal dismantled us. We were kind of done dirty against Spurs. But you're counting on one hand out, out of 40, 45 games this season. It's no longer coincidence. I refuse to think it's that. You know what I'm saying? Nine first-team players out. You know what I'm saying? And that's not an excuse. That's praise. That's praise for our team. That's, that's praise. You take out Salah, Trent and Alisson. The four, how many X-Factor players, how many X-Factor men the Liverpool have on the pitch in their starting level? Four, right? Four. Right? VVD, mm. Trent, Alisson and Salah, right? That's the four yeah. X-Factor men. Taking out three of them. And we're still just doing what we're doing. Just, do it. just, just going about our business. Bro, there is a bit of emotion though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Do it for Klopp. Like, come no, on. I'm, saying, I'm not saying there's no emotion there, but like, let's just not act like we aren't a very, very, very good team as well. You are a good team, man, but like, there's you are a decent team that's been boosted up a little bit by the emotion of Klopp. Bro. Yeah, but okay, that adre that, that's an adrenaline shot. It's not. It's not an adrenaline shot because we've been. We've been. It's been within the top. It is because Klopp's only got one Premier League, and if he leaves you with one Premier League, he is. I mean, he's yeah, a problem, again, again, this is this is again you lot are doing the car salesman thing. You man are trying to sell this. Don't make sure this don't happen because your manager's leaving. What do you mean? You're the one that just said didn't... blood. Don't make sure it's not a draw. But now we want it back on you. No, yeah, no did no, he? No. You want to check shit? Let's make sure the game's not a draw. I'm talking. We're talking about the bigger. Picture well, make sure Klopp wins his second you know, Premier League. You lot yeah. are die, you lot are dying for Trent to leave. You're dying for VVD. Hey, LB, you see Klopp you're dying goes to the buffet and gets one of everything, blood. One chicken wing, one lamb chop, no, 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 one piece of rice, one watermelon. One two everything, dog. Two carabals, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, two, two, two carabals. Ooh, two, big, two, ooh, two, big spender. Man, say talking about carabal cup with chest blood. Look at the mighty two, of falling blood. You sound like Man United blood. You sound like Man United blood. Man United were going on trophy parades with the carabal cup last year. Oh yeah, but oh yeah, but you man done the carabal cup parade, didn't it? So carry on. I forgot. Listen, again, again, we're not going to talk about variation of trophies because you've seen one variation in the last twenty years. We're not going to go there with it. Yeah, we're not going to go there. At the end of the day. Liverpool are just that good and people don't want to admit it, yeah? The re the midfield's been re Piss off! <laughs> this guy just must I mean, just shit, blood. I'm not chatting shit. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not, we've rebounded the midfield. Now nah, you're doing good, but we're saying it's a promotion. This? How about this? The midfield ain't even, ain't even like, there isn't even someone in the midfield where you can go, this guy's better for player of the season. He's a, he's a Declan Rice. Does that not game prove game. the point though, bro? Does that not prove the no. point? No, it doesn't prove the point because it's, it means that what was actually I think missing... I think it low-key kind of does prove the point, bro. It was just the midfield. We score goals. We've got good defenders. The midfield just got no legs. And if the, if the midfield ain't got legs, Liverpool don't function. It's as simple as that. Simple math. No legs, we don't function. We had a training cone in Fabinho and, and a training cone in a quick in, in Henderson. As simple as it is. So it's not even it's not even victim. It's not mentality. It's not nothing to do with that. How can I have the man say I'm a victim or I'm doing all this when I said we are winning the league? I've got my chest out. I'm saying Liverpool are winning the league. I don't fear no one, bro. Liverpool are doing... We're doing this. In you my fear opinion. no one, yeah? 
I've been, what, what, you think I can be waving the Jurgen Quad flag and think I'm not winning the league? I've been thinking I'm winning the league since January with the injuries. The go go juice is running out, I admit it. But man, these men are coming back from injury. Jota, Shred, all these men are back. After the, all these men are back. We're back again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, say it. Hashtag, we're, we're back again. Don't do any of that. So, you're, please, you're moving a bit you're emotional right now. I can't mm-hmm. lie, bro. Very I'm emotional. Like, like your players, man. Look at that. Look at the hand movement. Bro, all over the place, man. No, no, do you know what it is? I'm tired of it because you, man, are saying that Liverpool aren't going to win the league. Duh, 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 duh. So Why can't we say that? Huh? What, what, what's wrong with saying that? What's wrong with saying no, Liverpool? No, no, what's wrong with, say man, what's wrong with my opinion, opinion Black? Oh, but then stop, What's my opinion yeah. rattling you, Black? No, 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 it's not. It's not. It's not it saying, it is. saying, oh, don't, don't be a victim. Where's your chest? Da, 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 da. It can't be both. It can't be both. You know what I'm saying? Man can't tell me, man can't tell me I got double A's and then tell me where your double D's. Two things can't exist at once. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even, I can, bro, I can be emotional. It's my club. I can speak with Vim about my club because it's my team. So I'm allowed to speak with him. Maybe I should go upstairs and put a suit on and, and dot my eyes and cross, cross my T's. Maybe you lot prefer that in terms of content. But it's as simple as this. I think Liverpool win the league. And I'm, I think it's disingenuous for man to call our team, oh, it's just adrenaline. You know, you man are on your stim shots. You man are, you man are doing all of this. And, you know, all of this is going to happen. Come on, man. No, I, like, I, I think you're a very good team, man. But there is definitely an emotional like boost that you've got going around your football club because Klopp's leaving. It'd be the same when Pep Guardiola leaves. Yeah, it was the same when we got the 115 charges, by the way, last year. We got a, a boost because I, I, obviously our club was being attacked. So we all got a boost as a club and then we went on um, the treble. All right, all right, so here's a question. When Klopp, when Klopp decided to leave, where were Liverpool on the table? Uh, start of the season, wasn't it? When was it? It was top. Like December? It was top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but bro, like now, I'm thinking like now there's definitely an emotional boost that's going on. Yeah, in terms of the way we survive, if you could say because the players that were injured, we shouldn't have. I I don't think Liverpool should have survived that that um the injuries. I don't think we how we survived the injury crisis for me. Emotional boost. I don't even know that. That's why I said there's elements of emotion. There's elements of emotion, but I'm not branding our whole season down to emotion. We've lost two games. Nah, you don't have to say that, bro. But it sounds like you're like just trying to retract any emotion, and that's all we're saying is will will at some point that drop off because it's taxing as Arsenal found last year and you might have a bit of a dip and it just sounds like you're just like refusing to accept that any of this season has got anything to do with doing it for Klopp, bro. No, that's, that's not what we're right. saying. No, the first thing I said was there's elements of emotion but to, to say... So then we're you... saying can that, can that last all season? No, because, we, because I think it's more we're that good more than it is emotion. Okay, that's your answer. That's fine, bro. But my, my point is I think at some point that will that will run out, and LB, maybe. Do you, want to, do you want to know something? I think Arsenal are playing on emotion. What? I think Arsenal are playing on emotion. If anything, how? We're look cooking how teams. Arsenal, how are we playing on emotion? Look how good Arsenal have been of recent. So and why is that wobble. emotion? Look, look at the wobble. We went to look Dubai. Wobble. Look at the wobble. Exactly. Yeah, you might, to, you, might, you might have to take a break. You might have to. So? You might have to cool off. You might have to cool off. Yeah. What do you mean cool off? We were on a bad run, so we went there to re. We went there to re rejuvenize ourselves. We've come back and slapped everybody and their mother. Right. Again, emotional. And that is not emotional because we're not winning 3-2. We're not winning 2-1. We're winning 6-0, 5-0. Pick a number, blood. Pick a blood clerk number. Yeah? The first half of your season was Man's doing tennis scores, blood. Six low. Yeah? Bro, can I have a mean, blood? Can I have a spike? And you stood up in the right. You know huh? what I'm saying? It's Kai Havertz bagged that last minute header. When, bro, when, when Declan Rice bagged the last one against Luton, when Kai Havertz did it again... Luton was the earlier of the season. I Luton said was emotion. October. I said, I said your emotion was the earlier part of this. I said you was playing off emotion earlier. Yeah, Did's and now emotion. we're playing off class. Yeah? Class. class. Form. Yeah. Some would say form. It's class, mate. Yeah? Some would say form. Class yeah, is, this is This class is, is yeah, this is what I, this is what I've put banners in that stadium for, blood. Yeah, this is what I did it for to see this Arsenal. Cause this is the Arsenal that I know, blood. Yeah, I might not look thirty six, but I am blood. Yeah, you understand? Well, uh, like I, said, I think I think it's more. There is obviously there's a chance for anyone to fall off. It's the Premier League. One point separates. It's going to be swings and roundabouts. But at the end of the day, I feel like Liverpool. For me, I'm gonna. You know me. You know I'm gonna back my club. Obviously, 
But at the same time, I don't. I think it's emotion, but it's also Liverpool's quality as well. I feel like the emotion period of our season was when the injuries and the Klopp's kids and the. You know I, I think, nah, bro. Klopp's kids was like was like two weeks nah, ago. I, bro, I think you're completely wrong. I think yeah, as the yeah, season goes on, he's going to get ramped up even more because the pressure is going to be on. Because as Trump said before, yeah, but, yeah, but you can't leave with two pressure with one from your league. Makes diamonds. LB pressure makes diamonds. If you can't do it under pressure, why are we? Yeah, why are we and that's gonna that's gonna ramp up the emotion. There's that's emotion. Gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. But what we're saying is, what Look, you've saying had is... opened your stand to get more people in there, blood. Because you you need you need you need everything every little every little helps, blood. Tesco that's, bro, that's Liverpool in and that's Liverpool anyway, though, bro. That's not different for the that's Liverpool anyway. Yeah, of course we're gonna want to win something major for the gaffer in his last season. But at the end of the day, bro, we are we are. I'm sorry, we're just that good. I know you don't want to hear it. We're just that good. All we're right, just we just make sure that Deserbe doesn't dunk on you, man. Because if he does, oof, I like if he, and if he does, then we don't deserve to win the league. We don't deserve to win the league. I can sit here and I can sit here and say two things can be true. We don't. We don't deserve any dropped points this season for anyone. All three of us is dead. You, we know this. Any drop points is dead. Very, very dead. Yeah. And for whoever happens to first, I'll be there. Oh, <laughs> more than you believe, we will be there. You know what I'm saying? If it's me, you man will be there. But I believe we beat Brighton at Anfield, and I believe you man will draw. Actually, I believe Arsenal will win, but I want you guys to draw. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who's got the tougher running? Uh, I need Arsenal. to see a. I need to see Arsenal. a thing. Uh, look, Arsenal. Where is it? I need to see a graphic or something, man. One second. I need to Let find it. it. Right. Um. Because I know we got to go. I think we got the hardest running, but I need to get a graphic for it. I was looking for it earlier. I had it, blood. I'm on fucking yeah, deep it. in it. Yeah, you man really want to see me in the mud. It's, yeah, yeah, Louis, we are massive. Yeah, we are massive still. Don't, don't get gassed. We are, we are massive still. Yeah, man. Look, look, one, one little, one little loss. Man, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all done. Yeah, I got still. it here. Yeah, I'm gonna send you a picture. I'm gonna... Share it on this. Oh yeah. Uh... And I can post it. Right, we got over 1K in the chat, blood. Big out your damn selves, blood. We only got 225, no, 240 likes, blood. Let's get the likes up, my people. Big out your damn selves, blood. All right, cool. Now you're smash the like button, man, every single time. You should, you should at least be on 600, 700 likes. Yeah, trust me. We should at least 500, blood, my people. We should be on five at least, blood. You lot are moving mad. You get me? Yeah, people use this to smash that like button, man. It helps the algorithm. It helps grow the channel. helps grow the community. You don't already know this, man. It's just so we got to stop nagging. You know what I'm saying? Let's make Roll it up. to 300k, blood. What's wrong with them? I'm like, how many away am I now, blood? How many away am I now? All Ten, right, I'm two, like three, four, 202, four. blood. Come on, people. Jeez. All right, so obviously we play City, Liverpool, yeah. but... Brighton. I think, I think Arsenal, man. I think it's Arsenal. Ours, isn't it? Yeah, I think you got that. I think so, Liverpool's fixtures are pretty easy, you know. They are. I think Liverpool probably got the easiest fixtures there. Uh, yeah, that's something I, I think City, City is probably not too far away, but yeah, I think yes. I think Liverpool and City have definitely got the easier fixtures there. Uh, because yes, that so Arsenal, yeah, look at Arsenal. Obviously, first of all, Arsenal has to go to City. That's that ramps it up loads. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, Spurs Even away. Brighton away. Wolves you know, away. You know, you know Spurs, you know yeah. Spurs have got that top five in the bank, which they mm -hmm. might be by that point. You know for a fact that they're going to shit towels that performance. Mm -hmm. They won't care about winning. They'll just be like, yo, even if we take a draw, that'll be good. Because yeah. they can't have these men winning the league. Like, we can't. Yeah. They're going to yeah. do that. But, that's, that's, but, but, but aren't United going to do that for us, though? United are going to look at United are shit, though, bro. United are ass, man. Yeah, United yeah. At us. We've got a poor record at Old Trafford, blood. So I'm not even like that's why I think we have to win at City. If we win at City, then I think we can go to OT and win. Do you know what one? Do you know what I think? Do you know what, who, which ones I think are possible hill for City is that Tottenham away game? Yeah, Tottenham. because they they always struggle there. Like look at the way they celebrated they this year with a dead little one nil win. They didn't score a goal then. 
the nah, they won this year, bro, in the FA Cup. The way they were celebrating was like they won the flipping Champions League again, bro. Yeah, but you know I'm, what? I'm talking about in the league. They ain't scored a goal, actually. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that. I would say, you know, under under this, what's it called? Posse Coglu, I actually think we'll beat them. Because they don't play the same way as they play. I, I think other games, man, could, could be more tricky. Like, it could be somewhat like a... I reckon if City... Say that because for me, yeah, if City win the next two games against Arsenal and Villa, like mm -hmm. we got to go on and win the league. I think that games like fucking like Palace away, man, or Forest away are more likely for us yeah, to drop points you... and Spurs, man. City, yeah, City have problems at Palace. Yeah, yeah Palace, Palace is, is always a Brighton, tricky one for them. Isn't your record against Brighton a bit iffy as well? Uh, yeah, and Wolves, blood. We got to go to Wolves. Look, we have blood. Look, we have. Brother, look, in our next six games, yeah, we have one, two, three, four away games, blood. Four. And, and Bayern Munich. And Bayern Munich home. And away. Bayern in, in between them as well. No, did he? Brother, if we win this league, this is one of the greatest league wins you have seen. <laughs> Yo, man. You have real that. talk, blood. Real nah, talk. Blood. No, no. Look no, at the no, running. Yeah. Look at the running. No. Look at the it's running. Been a while, right? Wait, it's nah. been a while, isn't it? Been a while, fuck, been a while. Nah, bro. fuck you, lot, blood. Look while. at the running. Look at the <laughs> running, blood. Look at the <laughs> running, blood. Okay, literally... bro. Nah, blood. Look at this will be the greatest oh, I mean, league nah. title. What because you know what? This will go. I believe this goes to the last day. Yeah, I agree. It I could agree. do, yeah. I believe this goes to the last day, blood. Because I believe that Liverpool, for example, for me, Liverpool, what's tricky for them? I think bro, we got a few, bro. I know I people think, are gonna laugh at me. I Thanks think Villa away, away, Villa away Ever. will be tricky. Everton Villa last away. game of the season. Yeah, that's that. United, United away will be tricky, especially because they beat you in the FA Cup. They might, you get me? I don't know Tottenham, what's gonna happen. We drew it we, uh, in the in, when the season when we were going for all four. Tottenham, we drew one one with Spurs mm. in the last four games of the season. West Ham away as well. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Fuck them up. Nah. I'll, I'll be real. Willem. The Ariel Willem Willem might be tricky. The, the ones I right, call cool, the ones that really do give me the jitters. I hate to say it, but o OT, OT, I'll say. Yo, I, I think you'll demolish United, you know. I do. I think, yeah, yeah, no, don't. The players are going to be up for it, but we'll have to see. I think um, Tottenham at home, Villa away. I think people are. It's not. I know Villa have started to wobble a little bit, but they're still a tough, that's a very tough team. And I think yeah. Everton away. I think those are the four games for me. I really look at on paper and go, oh, can't really. Go out, go there with chest and say this game's done up anywhere near that. And also, you got to remember like the Thursday fixtures as well in the Europa League. Yeah, they, they've been kind to us, but I feel like that's something. I feel like I wish we could put the your Champions League fixtures in between as well to see how that makes it look. Oh, who well. you got in the Europa League? We've got Atlanta in the, in the Europa League, and they've been piss poor. When I because I was doing you lot was obviously on the same draw day as us, and the chat was like, "Yo, stay live troops." And then when you got Atalanta, they were like, "Yeah, they've been shit this year." Mm. So they like, expect you to go yeah. through. So I think people. So I think do you know what it is that I'll say though. You so for see, us, like, it's like look. So for so when you said the Bayern Munich game, so for us, it's it's um City, Luton, Brighton, Bayern, Villa, and then I think it's Bayern then, or it's Bayern off the walls. Um, let me check. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on. Just, all right, here it is. Look, all right, look, here it is. Look, here it is. Look, it's City, Luton. Brighton, Bayern, Villa, Bayern, Wolves, Chelsea, Tottenham. Yeah, that's mad. That's because remember the Chelsea game. The Chelsea game is going to be um, move, yeah. after the Wolves game. So yeah. Chelsea moves to, yeah. So we've got City, Luton, Brighton, Villa, Wolves, Chelsea, Tottenham in our next seven games, but. Luckily, yeah, we got Chelsea crazy. at home, so we'll slap Chelsea at home. And do you know what? Do you know what you're not mentioning? These games are every three days. Yeah, we have seven games in 21 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What from we City, saying? from the City game, we have seven games in 21 days, bro. Hold I think we got eight. I think we got eight because of the FA Cup. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, because the cup. Yeah, it is, it is kind of like that for most teams, though. I think as well. Like same with us. Uh, 4th of April, 7th of April, 11th. Yeah, but we're playing Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, bro. You're playing Atalanta, innit? I lie. Like, respect. Yeah, that's, like, that's, why, that's, why, I said, team, that's why I said, that's why I said, hold that. Hold that. You know what I'm saying? You want to be part of the big boy table? Hold that. Play them big boy games. Pause. No, did he? Sorry. Pause out of dating now. Yeah. Yeah, hold no, did All right, yeah, final yeah. question. Who's going to win the league? Honestly. 
I, I uh, I've said I think all right. Let me go first, yeah. Okay. No Diddy. No Diddy. Um okay, so I've got two, yeah. If Arsenal beat City, it's Arsenal. If we don't beat City, it's City. Trips, who's winning the league? I said yeah, it. If we beat City, we'll win the league. No, 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 if no. City... You, ain't, you, ain't, you haven't played City yet. Who's winning the league? So as it stands, City. Okay. Yeah, I'm going City to win the league. But the same sort of thing that Troops is saying. If City lose, City lose, I think Liverpool will win it. All right. If we're talking right now, taking emotion out of it, and who I not who I want to win the league, I think Arsenal actually get it done this year. Something about them, I think they get it done. But as you say, that game on the weekend can change everything. You know what I'm saying? I believe Liverpool are probably the favourites if you man draw and we just go and win. I then I just then I believe Liverpool are. Well, I'm not talking about a little bit. Like we're to, I'm talking firm favourites. Just like just like LB said, if if you guys drop the points and we go and just win our game as we do, we go about our business. I say it's Liverpool still. Big up JJ Lloyd. He says so. Are Arsenal winning the league? I'm confused. Yeah, I just said to you, blood. If we beat City, we win the league. If we don't beat City, City win the league. Big up E Ross, my dog. He says, Big up, gentlemen. All three clubs playing well at the moment. Fun title race so far. Going to come down to the last few games. Shape up looking proper troops. Come on, you gunners. Believe in your blood, Clark Barber. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see that fade, blood. Lord of his mercy. Boy, oy. I woke up like this, blood. Big up the herbs, man. My dog. Says, pick up yourself and the crew. Come on, herbs, man. Good to see you, my brother. And finally, JJ Lloyd, one more time. He says, Liverpool after match week 36. He's my been saying, by the way, he's been saying this all season. Has he? Talking, he's been saying this all season. All season. He's been saying match week 36. What, what does that mean? As in, so Liverpool think he'll, win it on the 36th game. Oh, City will win it on the 36th game, which is what? What game is that? Villa. No, you're saying, yeah, like saying Liverpool. Liverpool. Liverpool win it on the 36th game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Villa, isn't it? So they'll yeah. win it. They'll, they'll, so he's saying basically they're going to go to Villa away and win it and win the well, league. Or the title will be done by game week 36, I'm presuming. Oh, right. Got you. Pretty much done that, yeah. Fairs. Big up the chat every time, blood. You understand? Still over 1k inside, blood. Let's get them likes up, bro. You get me? We still ain't got 500 don't. likes, blood. We got 333. You lot on some jolting today, blood. I don't know what's wrong with you lot, but I know they'll go up, no diddy, when the live is posted. Big up months and LB every time, blood. Make sure you subscribe to the Man Names channel. The link is in the description. You get me? Make sure you subscribe, blood. You lot got anything going on? Um, Live was cancelled. I was supposed to go live at three. Live's cancelled, so... Um, I'm, I'm gonna be live at seven today. Seven, uh, England, England stuff. A bit more league talk, title talk. Keeping it simple with the man them. You know what I'm saying? So you know, yeah. Subscribe, like, but more importantly, subscribe to the man them. Subscribe to LB. Subscribe to Troops. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I'm nearly at nine k. Two hundred subs away from nine k. So subscribe to the channel, man. Yeah, me, man. I'm just getting back in the Premier League zone in it because this two weeks is is killed me off. It really has. So, uh, yeah. talk. Honestly, man, it's, it's, it's that Southgate, bro, it just kills me in it every time. So, yeah, just getting back into the swing of things now. And, uh, yeah, we'll be there on, on Sunday, man, doing a, doing a watch along. And then hopefully, a little, little troops reaction video. We will be there. <laughs> That's if it goes well. You'll either see a troops reaction video or you'll see me trolling LB's watch along, blood. You get me? But big up the people there. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until Friday, um, I'm going to have Hamza on the channel, blood. God help me, people. You get me. 3 p.m. Friday, we'll be back again. And then the pod will be live 10 p.m. No, 9 p.m. on Friday as well. So you lot have a good Wednesday, a good Thursday, and I'll see you on Friday, blood. <laughs>